Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. My name is Doris Talum, if you're stopping by for the first time. It's a beautiful morning here at Boko, and in this vlog, I'm going to Makudi, the Benue capital, to run a production. I have assembled some persons who are waiting for me over there for a production that I intend to do on the channel, okay? So um, the vlog is just going to be, you know, about the activities I'm going to do there, you know, recording episodes for you, my subscribers and viewers, of course. But sadly, um, it looks like it's going to rain any moment from now. So I'm just hanging around waiting for the rain to subside. Then I proceed to Makudi, where I'm going to run the production, of course. It's going to be an interesting one, of course. So while we wait, let's enjoy the downpour, okay? It's um guys, so I'm here at the location where I'm filming. It's in Makudi, the Benue capital, but um, on the outskirts of the town. Can you see how beautiful this house is? So after filming, I'm going to give the residents um some money for using their space. mama. Ah, now uh, my actors are over there. People that I'm working with. They've done everything they need to do. Sorry, I couldn't even vlog when they were doing all that, but you get to see everything that we that we did on the channel as time goes by, okay? Um, but this is one of my my friends that I made here. His name is Kule. Kuleve. Yeah, hello. Say hi to my friends. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Please keep watching and oh my god, click the subscribe button. Thank you. If you've not done that. <laughs> Okay, see, see the other guys. Please say hi. Please, please subscribe, please. Oh, please. can you hear that? Can you hear that? <laughs> thank you, Joe. Thank you, thank you. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for all your efforts. I really appreciate. You are highly welcome. <laughs> thank you. Sune, Sune, Chania. Okay, guys. So um, from here, I want to. There's a beautiful site down there. It's a waterfall here in Benue, Nigeria. So I'd love to go there when I'm done with this. So when I settle with them, I'll go to the waterfall and show you guys all the beauty that we have here in Benue. I'm having a great time here. Really, I'm really having a great time. Guys, we're eating granite. Can you see fresh granite? Yeah, fresh from the farm. Guys, so all of this granite is for 1300 and my guys are still beginning to pay less. I told you there's so much food here in Benway State and... No, that's too cheap. The hospitality of a tea man is greatly misconstrued. People say a lot of things because of how hospitable we are. I just came to this place for a shoot. I'm using their space, using their house, and they're still insisting on making food for my guests. Can you imagine that? Like I'm using their space for free, and they're still making food to give me to eat for using their space so when we say achievement is hospitable this is what we mean okay all the other stuff that you guys talk about are unfounded okay this is all that we know how can you come to use someone's space if you were in other places people will ask you to pay a huge amount of money and then i'm using your space and you're still cooking food for me so let them i'm really so grateful guys let me show you what the young man is doing is doing a good job founding. <laughs> okay, he's telling you guys to come and eat that he's founding cassava. Aku. Yep. So fresh. Fashion tower looks strong. 
most tea people prefer their food very strong. I don't know why. That on top over there is um, slicing pumpkin leaves. Ugu. So, thank you. Guys, see, I've gotten raw granite again. She just gave me raw granite because <laughs> she bought for sale and I bought and I gave her an extra tip. For that, she fetched granite like this and gave me. I'm really proud to be a thief person okay if not for anything for the fact that my people are very hospitable like anywhere i go in thief land regard regarded is thief land and welcome okay and i'll eat one thing distinctive thing about us is that about the thief person is that we don't eat inside like you will hardly find in a local traditional setting except for those that are now civilized and all but in a local setting you can never find a thief person eating inside it's always outside they eat outside so that if a brother is passing by and he's tired, he or she, she can stop by and eat. So that's like one of the things that I really love about my people. And this is um, something that people in the comment section who have experienced this can say that I'm, I'm saying the truth. Okay, I'm not making up stories. It's like the truth. Mm. Fam, remember I told you there's a stream and a waterfall nearby. I really wanted to go to the place, so I proceeded to that location. That's my younger sister in the middle. She's like the production assistant on the set. She helped me, so we couldn't get a second motorcycle. So we jumped on this together. I had a jolly ride. All right here at the stream. And um, <laughs> going down looks very, very scary, but I love adventure. That's why I'm here, okay? Let me show you guys how steep it is. <laughs> But I'm going to go down there. I will go down there. Go there. As I'll be fine while I know be small. Yeah. Okay, give me the camera. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me show you guys how it looks like. I think I need to take out my slippers. No, Danny, no, Never leave me. Can I show somebody doing this video? Oh. Guys. Younger they sleep. Trouble they come back on. Okay, this is the point where I use my hands to get down. Yep. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> 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 what is someone's farm? Ooh, this is corn. Agbado special. Special Agbado that's not ready for harvest yet. Still blooming. So let them. Number one, they here. Thank you, guys. Are telling us, come and eat groundnut. They are harvesting groundnut at the farm, and they want us to come and eat groundnut. Okay, let's go and see. Let me go and see how they are doing. Chi chi chi. So let them. Oh. Guys, see, see, granite. I hear some water. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. What did I tell you guys? Like, my people are so kind and so hospitable. Anywhere you go, there's food and they always give you. So this is my fresh groundnut. Fresh from the farm. I'll take it home and go and add to the one I have. So that'll boil. So like me. Hold on, what's it here? Wow. Thank you. Bye. This is a peanuts, peanuts, peanuts.
so now. Then then now. So now, whether he hang me that time at all. Let me keep it here. When I'm coming back, I'll carry it. Sugar cane. What film sugar cane? Over there. Let me see a sugar cane. A mini sugar cane. Can we call this a sugar cane plantation? <laughs> this is a sugar cane garden. Uh. Okay, this is potatoes. Potato, potato. And this is spinach. African spinach. Water leaf. Where's bitter leaf? It's not bitter leaf. Okay, that's bitter leaf. It's a whole garden. Of course. Eh? So we further strolled to the stream to look at the water. The waterfall is at the other side. I just wanted to look at the water at the stream before I proceed to the waterfall. That's my younger sister over there getting some pictures for the gram as usual. <laughs> Let's go. Which way? Right, left or right? Left. This looks like someone's yam fan. Yep. Look at people's yam fan. See how green. Oh my, this has soil. This something else. Just look at that. Okay, chair, yeah. Okay, this is a what's it called? What? A melon. See melon. <laughs> melon. We call it a goosey, right? In my in Tiv language, it's called che e che. <laughs> Ah, so this is a yam farm. See, someone's yam farm. Ah, so the reason why these sticks are placed here is that, you, as you can see, the yam stems grow a lot in length. So most times sticks are put so that they can just grow and wrap themselves around instead of just being on the floor. So that way, when farmers come to weed the yam farm, the, it makes it easier for them to weed because already the stems are wrapped around the sticks and not on the floor because it grows very very lengthy as you can see and then um the more the length of this this the more the bigger the yams on the ground but sometimes it's not always the case sometimes you can see a heap and the stem is just like what's on the ground here but the yam on the inside is massive so that's that yep Ooh, see chicken chicken <laughs>
guys we're here we're here guys can you can you hear that sound can you hear the sound <laughs> mini waterfall indeed <laughs> it's a mini waterfall are you sure who have used the other side okay let me jump <laughs> oh that was risky the triangle Yankela. guys whoa <laughs> this is a mini waterfall guys right here in benefit nigeria look at that come on mama this is so beautiful really so beautiful See, there are many there are many tourist places here in Benue State, Nigeria. People just think that when you mention Benue, like it's just food. But look at all of this right here in Makudi, the Benue State capital. I wonder why people have not discovered it. it. It doesn't look so nice, but I feel if something is done on the banks here, yeah, it will come out well. guys see watching these guys alone has has healed my spirit like it's so therapeutic and i'm so glad i came to this place and i've spent close to 30 minutes getting to 40 minutes here so i'll head back now to the park get to vehicle and go back to boko and meet my boy okay i left him as early as 5 a.m to come and do this shoot see you guys when i get to the park all right <laughs> look at them Damn! <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. finally made it to the park this is flight park at Wurukum market Makuri benue state uh, i bought that vehicle it has not started moving because um they're still looking for more passengers i'm just here waiting in the car waiting for the car to get filled up so that we we'll move take off and go to boko <laughs>
guys, I couldn't let this moment pass me by. Those are human beings in the trunk of a car. I think there are three persons. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well, we are crazy in this country, yo. Um, anyways, this is where I end this video, okay? I doubt if I'll be able to vlog when I get to the house. So let me know in the comment section. Did you enjoy watching this vlog? Please let me know. And don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up. Don't forget to share. And most importantly, please look forward to my next video. It's going to be awesome. I guarantee you I did a lot in that. Thank you so much. Do have a great time.